Hello. Oh, let me just uh, take a seat and get comfy. We've got some jewelry bags and jewelry bags. This has already been broken into. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so I am currently away. Isn't that nice? Um, I think I'm filming this one. This will be my travel day, probably. So no vlog from me for today. But you'll get this instead. So there we go. But I'm actually filming this the Tuesday before I go away. So happy future me. I hope you're having a lovely time and I hope ever, all, everything went okay. There we go. Right, let's see what we've got then. I see an old clasp there. That's a big old clasp on um, something that's broken. Yay. That's, that's really weird, isn't it? With all these like faux pills that are peeling and stuff that's obviously going to go into broken yay that's a shame um so i have my bag for broken bag for two kilogram lots and then anything i fancy selling i'll kind of put to one side like this one that one's quite cool isn't it don't know what the green will be in it it might just be enamel or something but yeah i quite like them that's something i would sell in my shop that's kind of a cool and unusual one. Again, it's got the touch of the girdling guards about it. But I think I'll probably end up putting that in two kilos. What do we reckon? If it was perfect looking, then I would try and sell it myself, but no. That's quite cute, painted. Um, very folksy kind of thing. Barge wear, all of that. Bit of faux amber, some famber, but that's all right though. It's kind of fun. It might be reconstituted amber, so it might have some amber in it, but in the resin as well. Yeah, I'd consider selling that one. That's cute. Um, that is broken, so someone can use it for the beads. Got an old clasp on this one, on this lovely multi-strand. With a box clasp, but it is indeed broken. Probably an easy fix, though. Probably just needs re. Yeah, it just needs rehooking onto there. I'm gonna put that into a vintage broken lot. The clasp is quite nice and stuff. If I go into a vintage broken lot. Yeah, someone's made that out of polymer clay. So, used the back and then made a polymer clay brooch. There we go, that'll probably go into a brooch's lot. Right. A long bit of chain. Probably, it might be the belt at some point. A Luxor steel, probably. That'll go into craft a lot. They're weird, aren't they? It's plastic. Is there a clasp, like a hidden clasp? I'll just put that into a kiddie's lot, I think. Oh no, there is a kid. Oh God, no, that's, that's had some issues. Yeah, no, I'll put it into a craft a lot. There's gonna be lots going into craft a lot. It's like this one, it's just too tarnished. It's a shame. Um, oh, that's quite nice though. I don't mind that. Is it Ben Delisi? Yep, yeah, Ben Delisi. That's all right. I quite like that. That's something I might sell. I am, of course, like looking out for silver and gold, but if there's any nice costume that I can put in my shop as well, because um, I'm burning through at the moment. Some pretty earrings. That one's one of those like friendship type ones, but I'll put that into a gemstone lot. Little pearly cutesy one that'll go in two kilos. And then these look like real pearls, potato pearls. But they'll go into a pearly lot. As well this little stretch. And it's got a little heart though. Quite cute. These sort of 
almost like craft beads, trade beads, so just ceramic. Nice and unusual though, they're quite cute. If it wasn't on the cord, that might be something that I would consider selling. Right, are you a chain in there, a silver chain, or are you just being mean and teasing? Because that does happen. Yeah, they're just being mean and teasing me. So it's all mixed up together. But that's quite cute. That little glass moon. I might take that out because I quite like that. That's kind of fun, like hand-blown glass. I'll keep that to one side. I might sell that one. Some kiddies plastic beads. Oh, that's a pretty earring. Just a single clip on one. These are all going in two kilos, except no, I'm gonna try and take this white one out and put it in craft. If I can, or you're all going to end up in craft in a minute. There we go. Right. You go in craft, you go in two kilos. And this beastie. Oh, shame. There's quite a lot of wear to the back, but you can see, see that it's been restrung and things. But that's nice. But I'm going to put that into vintage craft a lot, broken lot, because they might be able to restring them themselves and do something with that. Cause it's gonna be a bit fabulous. Right, next one. What looks interesting here? That looks interesting. Is that gonna be gold? Probably not. Let's find out. Oh, there are some little bits here. So that's great. We love it when there's broken bits that fall apart. Oh well, some pearlies. I'll go into the pearly lot. Where's that bangle? Here it is. Oh, it's got a crack in it. Oh, it's cracked a few times. And they didn't even kintsuki it, you know, where they fix it with gold. But still, it's a hefty chunk of jade, that. That's nephrite jade. It's got like the little bits that look like kiwi fruit. But shame. It's got big cracks, but I wonder if it is kintsukiable. Because that, that would be really nice. Because it's quite symmetrical in the way that it has broken. So just, um, indeed. And I'm going to keep that aside. That's it, just. Because I, I do like jade. It is nice. It's just a shame that it cracked in many places. Um, these, I used to have a bunch of these and they did all sell eventually and I don't think I've got any more in my shop so I might actually um, sell that one. Got a bunch of bangles which I'll probably put into the kiddies dress up lot. I think that's most of them. Kiddies dress up and with this pink one also. Oh no, it's broken so that goes in craft. Right, you, it looks like you're on brass. I don't think this is going to be, might be gold plated. But it's like all coming off. That was probably really pretty at some point. Shame. I reckon that is proper like gold plated there. Or like gold filled. But it doesn't say anything. Hmm. I might keep that aside and just see if I can, I don't know, polish it up or something. That's too well worn. Oh, little crystal keyring, crystal ball keyring. That's quite nice, actually, isn't it? That's a proper one. You can see how that. Oh, look! Wait a minute. That's cool. So that might actually be like a proper Swarovski one or something with, can you see the three crowns in there? That's unusual. That I might look at as well. That's kind of cool. 
got this nice big medallion one. I'll probably put that into a vintage lot. Look at these little brookany bits. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. Thanks for that. I'm going to take this off because I'm going to jangle too much. Faux poilies. stretch what's that oh god it's like a Ouija board Oof. don't like that <laughs> uh, it's not on a silver chain probably silver plated chain but yeah there we go <laughs> oh I've started a um, gold and silver town lot actually so I might put that in there like a little pendant slot that's a big faux pearl. On a gold tone chain, I'll put that into a vintage lot. That's pretty. A little stretchy crystally one, but that stretch is gonna go so that can go in craft. A little wrap one, bits of like dyed mother of pearl and stuff. Don't think you're silver. This nice little mesh woven bangle. Oh, if only you were pools of light. We've learned all about that recently, haven't we, Jordan? Pools of light. But I don't think it would go all the way through if it was pearls of, um, yeah, pools of light. Which is a shame. But there we go. But they're still pretty, but just little glass beads. I'm gonna keep them aside anyway. This is quite cute. It's broken. Shame not silver. No. I was hoping there would be a toggle clasp type thing. Never mind. Goes in craft. Mm, don't know what that was. But good for harvesting. Oh, what does that say? Mum. 18 karat gold plated. Little heart that'll go into my little gold and silver lot. Wow, that's a statement earring. Crazy. And a beady one going into kilos. Do, do, do. This little flowery one, little sparkly bits, glass stones attached to just a plain chain. That can go in there. I don't know what that is, that button or something. What are you? You look like oh, broken off something, obviously. And what's that? Broken pendant? What on earth happened there? I don't know. I don't know. Sparkly gold tone earring. That would have had something on it. Some kind of plastic pin, I don't know. Going in craft. Oh, that going in craft. Sorry, I just nudged you there. Oh, that's cute. That I think is on a silver chain, beads on a silver chain with this little boat with a little evil eye hangling down to ward off evil. That's quite sweet. I'll keep that aside. That's an unusual bit. I like that. I wonder if they're amber. That's quite outstretched, isn't it? Very outstretched. I wonder if it was. It's even like melted to itself. It is indeed amber. Mm -hmm. oh, there we go. So I could do like um, a crafter's amber lot and put that in it. I think I've started one of those actually. So there you go. So someone could restring that into a rather cool amber bracelet if they so desired. See, that's got a nice clasp on it. That's probably handmade. 
Another stretchy, but it's missing some stones. I've got some dyed shell in there. Very nice beachy kind of look, kind of purpley. And then this is going to be a lot of, there's another one of them button pick things. Now I'm sure I saw the other one to them in here somewhere. That's a pair, but unfortunately missing rhinestones. That's quite a nice. That would have been a nice earring, wouldn't it? Little charm bracelet, little dangles. Yep, broken. What about you, chain? Oh, this is silver. It's got a little butterfly in it, a little iridescent butterfly. That's nice. Yep, stamp 925, nice chain and all. Cute, there we go. Got a nice little something there. <coughs> okay, putting all broken bits over here. That's a striking earring. What have I got that? Maybe I didn't love you. Do, 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 do. What on earth is that from? That's weird. Looks like a bit of furniture type thing. There we are. Pear, but one of them's broken. Little things I should have said and done. That's probably silver. I just never took my time. Oh, what are you, Chain? You are always on my mind. You've got a stamp that says Italy, but Italy what? Italy 925. Yep, 925. It's not gold. It's not gold. Um, so it's a gold over sterling silver bracelet that's broken. That's a shame. And that's probably the bo broken link there so it's in a few bits so that'll have to go into my scraps that's a shame that would have been quite a pretty bracelet wouldn't it never mind never mind there'll be other chances that looks like a swarovski one i oh, can't see any marks but i've got very similar swarovski ones you are always on my mind that's a pair that can go in two kilos Boing. That's a nice little pendant, not silver. You can see that it's uh, coming through there. Oh, little crystal flower. Little, is it these like Buddhist coins? They might be silver, possibly. Might keep them aside to test. They look like they might be silver. A little sparkly question mark. It's probably not meant to be. It's probably the tail of something that's broken off, but you know. Du, 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 and there's, well, there's another one, or is it the same one? I don't know. All these little bits. Du, du, du. That's quite nice. A little cross and the dangly bit. You are always on my. And there's a pair, but they are broken. Tell me. Oh. Oh. And then I think all the rest is just brokeny bits. And there was another one, but they are basically two of the same, but not. Oh well. Never mind. Right. Let's get all of this away. And do another bag. Well, I'm okay with what we've got so far. I mean, I've definitely had worse. I mean, for sure I've had better, but I've definitely had worse. And um, it's a couple of nice little bits. I'm happy with that nice little bit of silver and things. Okay, another one. Right. 
to hold up much help for this one. And of course that turns out to be cherry amber, which it definitely isn't, but there we are. Right, a big, chunky, brass looking one by Puruna. Puruna. There we go, that's going in two kilos. Whatever, it's in love with an anchor and things going in two kilos. A little trolley coin, yay! And that'll go into a key ring slot. A little bit of milk glass, but it is broken, so that's just going to go in craft. I had one very similar to this. Um, oh, this is M&S, but I had one very similar, and it was Stella and Dot. That looks like it's all there. That's cool. That's going in two kilos. Some plasticky kiddies beads. Oh, you bugger. Don't. Just check the clasp. Don't think that's gold. It's a shame. They're quite nice glass beads. I'll put that into a vintage lot. And that little scarf ring. This is some more like Eloxor steel with a toggle clasp. That's quite small though. That'll be a choker one and I'll go into a vintage lot. Oh, with a matching bracelet. Actually not quite matching. That's more of a rose gold tone. There we are. Some plastic resin. Some more kiddies. Plasticky beads. Da -da -da. A little Christmassy thing. Oh, they are, they are. Oh no, they're not a pair. Well, they are a pair, but they're broken. Shame. Whatever that is. I'll go into a vintage lot. Well, this is the clasp for that. Thing. No, not gold. Not gold, but someone can reuse it. Right, that's a pair, so they can go in two kilos. So a beaded one. Right, this is quite a heavy one, so I'm guessing these are all ceramic stones. But the ribbon on it is quite tatty, and that one's smashed. So someone can repurpose those beads hopefully and this one is also broken We're not doing well from this bag are we oh dear oh dear and what on earth is going on here may i ask okay so there's that one it's quite a cool gothic -y looking one unusual and then this one with the tassel and then I don't know what's going on here looks like a multi-strand one perhaps going in there this little flowery one right to collect all of these glass beads together Right, anything in here of any use? That one's missing. That one in craft. Nope. Oh, there's a cute little enamel on there. But nope, not for me. That's a Marks and Spencer's one. Nope. Oh, that wasn't a good bag at all, was it? Never mind. What time are we on? 24. We can definitely do another pair. How about this one? Come on now, be lucky. Be lucky. Okay. Oh, look, we got a little kitty cat. That's one from Aristocats, isn't it? I think so. I've got a Disney lot and that'll go into it once I manage to get it out. Another one of those wrap bracelets. Oh, that's quite nice. 
I saw a lot of these when we were over in Marrakesh. It's a shame that's broken. Uh, this isn't silver, but that will be like bits of lapis and turquoise and stuff. Um, so yeah, a shame that's broken there. Never mind. I'll go into a craft a lot. They can have fun. That's quite the earring. Something missing from the bottom. Very nice construction to it. Don't think it's going to be a precious metal or out. It does feel quite nice. It's not going to be. I don't know why I'm kidding myself into thinking that it might be. I know why, because I've had something like that before that ended up being 18 karat gold. Now I can see the copper coming through there. And it's always nice to think that that'll happen again one day. That's missing a bit from the front there. Gold! <laughs> no, it's very, very bright. Very bright. Quite a nice chain, but that is like an almost orangey gold, isn't it? In colour. Very strange. Probably a made in China jobby, but could be something I'll sell. Hmm. That's quite nice as well. Are you gold? Why aren't you gold? You're not gold. That's a shame. For sure, it's a magnet. Not magnetic. See, now I'm getting all paranoid and stuff. Nope, not gold. I can see the copper. Oh, and there's another one. Another ungold. Nope, no marks are out. Too shiny as well. Shame. Nice earrings though, but as you can see, it was bent anyway, out of shape. That's quite a nice bracelet, but again, it's broken. Snapped from there. Shame, that would have been quite a cool and unusual one, that. Some fading with the colour as well, though. Looks like a shell. Quite fun. This is one of the Swarovski rip-off type ones, isn't it? Probably magnetic. Yep, there you go. You can wrap that round a few times or wear it really long. Some more kiddies plasticky beads. Kiddies lot. All right, if I undo this here. Oh, this is by Whistles, so that's quite a nice brand to get something from. So that is something I would sell. There we go, the little, God, the rose gold and the marble, wow. <laughs> that was a look for a while on Instagram, wasn't it? Oh, there we go. So that's what was missing, this like fruit pastel looking bit. And we have a chain here. That, okay, it's got the razor blade thing, but I don't think it is gold. No, it says 925 on it. So again, a nice chain. Like nice for me chain, always handy to have as well. So that's cool. We've got something from there. Shame it's not gold, but there we are. Can't always be gold. But we like it when sometimes it's gold. Please. That's quite an unusual one. A bit bonkers with all the pearly bits. That's going in two kilos. This. Um, again, it's an Aloxel steel ring, very lightweight, and don't be fooled, it will test as gold because stainless steel won't react. Come on. There we go. That'll go into probably a vintage lot. Dolphins, you're a bit worn though, aren't you? Shame. That's going in craft. 
And you go some more kitty beady lots, the beady kitties. And what's this? Nice tassel, Laura Ashley. There you go. Nice tie back for you to wear. It's quite pretty actually, it's really nice stones there. But going in two kilos. If I was still doing beachy lots, it's a bit late in the season for it now. If I was still doing them, I would put this one in it. This is a Marks and Spencer's one. That's quite nice though, with the, the little turquoisey discs and the corally looking beads. And the elastic band, obviously. Oh, there is a bit of silver there though. Okay. Is it attached to this? It is attached to this tartan heart. That's cool. I'm enjoying this. Come on now. Yay. Lovely. That's cool. So it's like tartan printed on a silver heart and on a silver chain. So probably um, like a studio made one, handmade. That's cool though. I like that, yay. I've got a little something. That's quite a nice earring, isn't it? And all the leaves. Are you gonna be anything mixed up in here? Nope. Just um, an anklet, I guess. I guess. And then that's broken, so that can go in craft. What was this here? What's that, like a turnip or a tomato or something? Some kind of strange vegetable. But someone's made it, it's cute. And we've got this jingly jangly one with all glass leaves and stuff, that's quite pretty. That's another Marks and Spencer's one, probably. Right, we wanted to get the little cat over here, didn't we? Okay. You're always on my mind. Tell me. Tell me that your sweet love hasn't died. Give me. One more chance to keep you satisfied. There we go. So we've got the kitty out. That'll go in the Disney lot. Satisfied. -de 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 -de. This has got a nice clasp on it, this one. That is a really nice clasp. Um, That's fun, but I'm going to put... Sorry, I just jangled you. I'm going to put that in craft for someone to have fun with. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. So it is vintage. Doesn't say made in France, but oh, it's a magnet. I thought it was going to be a screw one. That's a shame. But that's cool, though. Weird with all the rhinestones and set in the plastic. Don't think it's silver because it's like attaching to itself. It's fun. There's a little bit of wear, so that'll probably end up in a vintage lot, but that's kind of cool. It's cool. I appreciate it. Not silver. Ooh, oh! That's cool. That's, is it Frankenweenie? So that's the Tim Burton dog. Oh, adorable. Right, that's keeping that aside. That's really cool. I like that. Aww. That's made this one okay. Um, little pendant. I think a little um, carnelian in there. I'll put that in a gemstones lot. And then some stretchy faux pearly ones. A broken brooch to go into the broken brooches lot. Du -du -du -du. Broken bits. What are you? Your do uh, door hook thing. Hook. Thanks for being in a jewellery lot. That's great. Some more odd earrings. 
You're not silver, are you? No. A little faux pill ring that'll go into a rings lot. That's cute. Little crystal heart. That's yep, that's sterling silver. Tiny little sterling silver bail. But there we go. You can probably put that on a pendant. I've got a ring. Very bent out of shape. I think it's nine carat on silver. But that is really effed up, isn't it? And it's been welded back together at some point, so that'll go in scrap. Do, do, do. That's a rather lovely sparkly one. And then these ones apparently just want to stay attached and I'm not going to argue really. Got a little Claire's accessories band. And then this cut out wooden one. And that can all go in two kilos. And just time for one more, I think. Go to this one. Wow, these are cool. Look at these. They're like Aboriginal ones. That's cool. I like. I wouldn't wear them. They're not my style, but I appreciate, you know? So I'll probably sell them, sell them together as well, maybe. That's cool. Good, good. Oh, we've got an A for Alexandra, except I don't know any Alexandras. Who could that be? Certainly not me. But a little pin. I'll go into a brooch's lot, probably. Big chunky bangle. Quite nice. With the inlay. Ooh. Oh. Oh, hello. But oh, what's going on here? Hi. Hi, we're friends. I like you. Oh, come on, let go. Let go. Be nice. Oh, there's a few things attached. Right, hang on. Hang on. Okay, you first. Right, so first of all this. That looks like it's sterling silver. Bit bent out of shape. But hey, and then this. Stamp 925 on the back. Oh. <gasps> And it's got all of its marker seat. Oh, look at that. Can you see? Are you okay? That's beautiful. Wow. That's really nice. I do like that. And you can wear it as a pendant as well. Maybe that's why it was on there. Someone could have been wearing it like that. Oh, that is lovely, isn't it? That would look nice on chain as well. Oh, that is handsome. Yay, chuff, that's a lovely bit, isn't it? <sighs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, bit of abalone. The, the, oh, see, someone's pushed that down so they can use that as a clip-on. It's not how it works, but there we are. That's going to be quite uncomfortable. That's quite a nice earring. Unusual. Very unusual. Hmm. Uh, I've got rosary, so that'll go into a rosary and crosses lot. That's not silver. Rude. Some broken -y bits. Right. We'll find that other bit of silver in there in a minute. I'm, I'm sure it's, it's still going to be there. We hope. Right. What's going on here? So we've got a multi-strand, all these nice glass beads and just that bit is broken there so i'll put that in craft some like faux pills and faux crystally ones a pair of cufflinks so i'm going to kindly tied together and then they've attached themselves to this so i will do that um, can't see a maker on them, so they will probably just go into a generic cufflink slot. And that's the 
Oops. Here you come hither. I'll go into kilos. That's quite pretty. New silver. Don't think so, but cute little hearts and things. I'll put that into the vintage lot. Bags about to fall over. Don't do that. Right, this chunky brass coloured and gold home coloured rings going into kilos. What do you say? Miglio. Miglio, that's a thing, isn't it? I'm sure that's a thing. That's quite fun. Possibly missing a stone from in there. Possibly. I'll keep that aside anyway. You never know, the stone might be around here somewhere. With BHS earrings. It's going in two kilos. That's going in craft. That's a heck of a neon colour. That's quite nice. That's um, going to be Carnelian probably. Very nice example of it on a sterling clasp as well. And that's probably a bit of suede. That's quite nice that. Keep that aside. Some rings that are probably stainless steel. They don't feel like they're silver or anything. But I'll keep them aside to test. I'll keep them aside, you never know. I'll test that in a bit. And this one's a chunky one with all geometric shapes and a heart and things. That's attaching itself to this one, so that's fine. If they want to go together, I'm not going to argue. I'm going to argue with this little bit though, apparently. Oh, is that the same one? No, it is actually broken, right? See, that one's fine, that's going in two kilos. This one's not, that's going in craft. With all of these little bits. Okay. Little sparkly green one. Oh, and that's got like woven beads and stuff. It's pretty. Going in two kilos. Oh, oh, how's this working? Oh, okay. That's cool. Fun bit of modernist with a tassel on it as well. Oh, cute little ring. Not gold. <laughs> Not gold. Bugger off. And then some strand of faux pearls, but this is going to go any minute. So I'm going to put that straight in craft. That is quite the beast. Who are you made by? La Visa. I have a feeling that that... Oh, no, 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 that is right. That is like that. So it's all complete. Hmm, I could sell that one, I reckon. Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah, we've got another one of these. We had one earlier with the green. So these are probably handmade little bits. Is that broken off there? Yeah, because that's meant to be like a little pyramid sort of shape, isn't it? That's a shame. Let's go in and craft them. And got some wire wrapped, kind of fake mother of pearl there. And then this jangly one. We're going in two kilos. And get this silver one out in a minute. Got a little bracelet there by the looks of it. But let's undo you. Very tarnished, this one. Very pretty. That's a heck of a weird one, isn't it? What do you think of that? I quite like it. It's bizarre. Is that meant to be, that's meant to be the middle and then these two bits meant to be over here. It's a sterling silver clasp. That's weird, I kind of like it. I'll sell that one, because I like it. Couple of bangles, brass bangles. And then this, also a lovely bit of silver. Marker seat, all the bits are in there. 
stamp 925 on the back gorgeous so we've had a couple of lovely bits of sterling and marker suit awesome so their favorite bits and i do really really like that one as well i know it's bizarre but i like it we do have some things to test so we we're going to test that and that and that and we've also got some nice bits and some scrap bits on that scrap and that scrap and awesome bit there and there but yeah we're going to test these bits don't we so i need a new bit of kitchen roll because this is disintegrating as it will do if you keep acidic things in it all right not a good scratch for silver or gold but do a couple that's i don't think that's going to be silver that scratching is copper underneath so nope neither of them are silver so that's going to go in two kilos but then we test this one for gold and it's staying, but it's staying because I reckon it's actually stainless steel rather than gold. And it's annoying that it doesn't say stainless steel either. But I think due to the weight of it and things, But yeah, that it's stainless steel, it's not going to be gold, but I do quite like it. So I might wear it for a bit, you know, but there we go. Yay. Um, I think we've done all right. So yeah, favorite bits. I'm going to see if we can kintsuki that. I don't know how. And I obviously like Frank and Weenie. It's pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, we were going to... That's definitely brass under there. With like gold on top um which is a shame i don't know why i'm testing i can see the blooming yeah but hey but isn't it lovely though that's i'm i'm okay i'm okay with all of that um happus young there's some interesting bits and some bits for me and um some bits to sell and yeah lovely okay well i hope you've enjoyed um check me again in a few days i don't know when um for for the next one and hopefully in between i'll have a little french vlog for you as well yay okay cheers now bye bye now bye bye